Rare footage has captured the horrifying moment a dolphin was ravaged by killer whales off the coast of Africa. The gruesome attack was captured by scientists who recorded the moment the dolphin was tossed out of the water and into the jaws of one of the huge mammals. Its ravaged carcass was washed up on a beach days later after being torn apart by two of the beasts. Images of the remains of the herbicide's dolphin show the body after it was disemboweled and shredded of its blubber. Researcher Dr. Simon Elwin said while such attacks were not uncommon in 20 years of research on marine mammals, he had never seen a carcass so severely ravaged. The body was found washed ashore on a beach near Pelican Point, Namibia. Earlier this month, authorities contacted a marine biology team to identify the creature but by the time they reached the scene, the body had been swept back into the ocean. In a twist of fate, the same scientists had captured the start of the feeding frenzy footage just one day earlier. The research team, known as Namibian Dolphin Project NDP, was looking at the impact of an oil spill when the distinct dorsal fin of a killer whale broke the surface of the water. In a flurry of activity, two killer whales can be seen in the clip hunting the unfortunate dolphin, Dr. Elwin who is the NDP director, said the heavily mutilated, freshly dead carcass was reported on a nearby beach through the local strandings network. The NDP responded to the call but the carcass could not be found and is thought to have washed out to sea, Dr. Elwin said in 20 years of research on marine mammals. He had never seen a carcass so severely ravaged, whilst the team cannot study the remains. They believe the footage and the condition of the carcass indicate that the killer whales were responsible. Killer whales also known as orcas and blackfish, are one of the top predators in the sea. They are an apex predator. With no natural enemies, they have been known to eat most animals such as large sharks, highly intelligent and social creatures. They work as a pack to hunt and kill their prey. Killer whales are technically a species of dolphin but will hunt other types of dolphin for food. Orcas are considered the largest species of the dolphin family. They weigh up to 6 tons, 5,443 kilograms, and grow to 23 to 32 feet, 7 to 9.7 meters. That is almost as long as a school bus. Their diet can vary depending on region but they have been known to eat anything from seabirds and squid to sharks and even moose. Dolphins do make up a portion of their diet. But footage of it is uncommon. Dolphins are normally faster swimmers than the larger killer whale, but the orcas will work as a pack to hunt. Operating in their pod, killer whales have been observed working in spaced out groups to isolate dolphins. Eventually, it becomes exhausted and the dolphin runs out of energy. Once the dolphin is no longer able to run the killer whale may rush in and charge the dolphin. Hit it or flip it into the air in order to immobilize it before going in for the kill. I have only ever seen animals peeled of their blubber and with their organs pulled out being caused by killer whales, Dr. Elwin added. So there's every indication the carcass belonged to the adult herbicides dolphin attacked in our footage from the day before. Killer whales hunt in packs, attacking their prey from multiple directions to keep them from escaping. In this attack, the whales hunted as a pair with one attacking and the other orca circling ominously. The rare sighting was the first time the group had witnessed killer whales in those waters in 600 trips. Dr. Elwin said, this is a once-in-a-lifetime event with highly valuable data. So the team mobilized immediately. After about an hour they spotted a very quick rush at the surface back and forth. The larger killer whale lifted his body out of the water and revealed an adult-sized herbicides dolphin in his mouth. We could see that the herbicides dolphin was bleeding but there was no further struggle and the killer whales dove underwater. With their prey, how do whales communicate? Whales are known for using complex clicks and singing to communicate with each other even if they are hundreds of miles apart. Whales that are closely related all live together produce similar pulsed calls that carry vocal characteristics distinct to the group. Known as a dialect, clicks are believed to be primarily used for navigation and identifying objects such as prey in the environment but they are also used for social interactions. Members of a pod have similar calls known as a dialect, which is composed of types of discrete, repetitive calls. Newborns copy the call of their mother. It's thought that individuals learn their dialect though contact with their mothers and other pod members. Norwegian and Icelandic herring-eating orcas are believed to have different vocalizations for activities such as hunting and traveling. Could they talk to humans? Previously researchers thought mimicking human speech was limited to some primates. 
birds, elephants, dolphins and seals. The fact the whale produces these sounds shows they are able to learn sounds by copying and helps us understand their lives in the wild. However, when Waiki says hello it means absolutely nothing to her. She does not attach any meaning to this sound and is not talking to humans. The word is completely out of the normal sound repertoire of whales and was chosen as a nonsense sound. Although the researchers did not set out to test Waiki's communication skills, the scientist who led the study believes basic conversations with her may one day be possible. Dr. Jose Abramson, from Complutense de Madrid University in Spain, said, Yes, it's conceivable if you have labels, descriptions of what things are. It has been done before with a famous grey parrot and dolphins using American Sign Language. Sentences like bring me this object or put this object above or below the other. The experiment proves there is a lot of complex communication happening among whales and dolphins. Tell me where the freaks at.